Hi, I'm Todd Salzman. Behind, I'm Mark. Yeah. yeah <laughs> as they me. behind the camera is Mark. Hi, Hi Mark. <laughs> Hi. Today we're going to take a look at two machines, vibration pump machines, heat exchanger style. One from ECM called the Technica 4. This is not the Profi. The Profi has a rotary pump. This has a vibration. And the Profitec Pro 500. Also, like I said, a vibration pump. We got them opened up over there. We'll take a look inside yep. in a minute. Yes, we yep. will. Similar in performance, but just some key differences you, you we, we <laughs> key differences we want to show you. Talk much today? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah maybe too much. <laughs> okay. Okay. First, let's take a look at the housing. Yeah, up close to see the way it's rounded here. They've curved uh, corners. Beautiful. Over here, on this one, you notice it's more of a uh, stamp steel and folded. But still pretty nice. Yeah, very nice. I mean, look, yeah. you look at the reflection in there. You can see it. Uh, the way it's high, highly polished stainless steel. Yep. Uh, reservoirs. This has a door to get to the reservoir on this one. Then it pulls up. I kind of like that, that you don't have to like pull something off of it there. It's kind of nice. And then this one, you pull the top off. All right. And these all will easily fit underneath a 18-inch standard height cabinets and uh, American counter. And there's something else right there too, right? Yeah. Right there we have. This is for your brew pressure control. So if you find you want to adjust the brew pressure, they all come set. But if you want to adjust it. That's, you can do it right there. On the Prof Tech, you'd have to take the housing off. You the housing off, and it's in the back. Well, right. as long as yeah, we're talking right about it. Look at it. Yep. Uh, over here. Right. So that's your brew pressure adjustment. That's the Prof Tech, mm -hmm. and that's the ECM. So there it is, sticking up. But yep. Well, well yeah, while we're over here, we'll take a look. It's a little closer. Sure. Um, on the Pro 500, it has a Sarai pressure stat, full commercial pressure stat. Mm -hmm. On the uh, ECM, it has a Mater pressure stat. Now, you, it's not a full commercial pressure stat, but the very low amp draw through this pressure stat due to the way the control system is laid out. So having a non-commercial pressure stat is, is okay, not an issue. Not a big deal. No, it'll do fine. Nothing not to worry deal. about. What uh, sorts of boilers? Because, I mean, that's okay. one real big difference. Right? Yeah, right. Right. It's a cop, Ooh, copper boiler. It's very pretty. I like the rounded yeah. end there, right? Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> and then we have the uh, uh, stainless steel. One on the ECM. We're always or impressed the with the Profitec. On the pro we're always impressed with those stainless steel and how well they, yeah. how nice they look. Yeah, they do a nice job. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and size pretty much the same. They're very easy. You notice uh, same type of pump mounts. Uh, you know, user serviceability to me is always something kind of important. What's nice about these machines, they're easy to service if you have to, if you don't want to send it in. So that's why you may notice some of these videos we kind of talk about that. Yep. Uh, they're big and heavy and a pain to yep. put in the mailbox. Yes, they are, and they get damaged, so you really got to be yeah. careful. Uh, the heating element on the uh, Profitec, four bolts, and it comes right out. Uh -huh. So you no special tools needed. A little bit different with the ECM, a little harder to get out. Is that a big deal? Probably not, because you'll probably never have to replace it, but I do like to mention that. Now, that, end, that cap looks like it's brass, though, right? We had This? Yeah. yeah, brass end plates. This is also just stainless steel. But the back end of the boiler was it's not copper. It's copper. Correct. Mm -hmm. As well as the rest of the boiler. Correct. Now notice there's no Teflon tubing in here. All copper or braided stainless steel. Good stuff. Very good. Yep. yep. Okay. I guess that's enough for the inside. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Drip trays again. You know, plenty big enough. They pull right out. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it's curved. And then the Profit Tech, not curved. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a price difference, so you're going to find that the ECM is more expensive, and that's probably what you're paying for. And then there's the little touches, like on the ECM. I see, you know, the little the chromed ends on the on the handle on the lever and the handle. And yeah, that is actually this. It is nice. Look at the difference in the handles. Yeah. I do like the feel on this handle. Mm -hmm. uh, not like you're going to get carpal tunnel using either one, but right. uh, I do like it. It looks nice and it feels good too. And also this handle. Right. Very well done. Uh, both steam valves are high quality. They're yep. the sprung style, so they'll last for a long time. Yep. And that's just. Shows that the valve seat is held, push it with a spring, you don't crank it in when you close it. You can't like overdo it and Correct. start damaging the seat. Right, and uh, let's see, check. Ow, Ow. That, that, that one gets <laughs> not hot. An no burn. That's not a no burn. <laughs> so check this one. You know, usually when they have the little rubber things on yeah. there, I think. That yeah, that's means. telling you something. <laughs> uh, so we'll check this one. You're, gonna just, you're just trying to burn yourself. Out no, that's a, that, that's a no burn. That's a no burn? Okay. And that's a no burn. Okay. So the Pro 500 has no burn steam wands and hot water wands. This right. one, not so much. 
Uh, other looks, difference, you know, we, when you think about it, sitting on your counter, mm -hmm. you'll notice this has the gauges up top, uh, yeah. where it's easy to see. I mean, you don't really need to look them on a regular basis, but this what visual thing, yeah, there aesthetics, keep that in mind. And this, they're down low. Down yeah. low. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Aesthetic-wise, that's that. So then, you make your own call on that one. And then kind of the, like the... The Pro 500, it's, it, they're both vibration pumps, but you know, one thing we noticed, this is just one of the quietest vibration pump yes. machines that are out there. Consistently. This is not just an oddity that we put this one up and have to be quiet. Yeah. yeah. Now, now run this one over here. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little Again, more. I'm not sure how it sounds over the microphones. It's a little bit louder. But a little bit louder. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, the little features they put on these nice little cap on top here. Yeah. As compared to the your standard one over here, right? Yeah. And then the bottom, they made a special outlet for the blow-off tube down there. Very, so very the, stylish. Yeah. So you're, yeah. you know, some more money, but you're getting a few things for it. Performance-wise, right. they'll be very similar. Very similar. Mm -hmm. I think that's really all I got so far on the machines. Anything yeah. you want to add, Mark? Did Did you want to just steam a little milk and just so we get an idea? Yes, we should probably do that. Yeah, we okay. should. We should froth up some, just yeah. to show you what the power is like. Yeah. Now, the, there were different steam tips, right? Now, the, mm -hmm. the Pro 500 had a four-hole tip, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. And then we had... We had a two-hole over here. Two-hole tip on this. Yep. Yep, okay. And you can't get other tips that'll fit, so... Okay, I like feeling the pitcher up to just below the spout. This is a 12-ounce pitcher to give you an idea. Okay, see what that's like. Good. Yep, this one's easy to control. Very easy to control the way this tip is. Okay. Okay. Waste a little milk here, and we'll do another one. I know I'm wasting. I can't help it. <laughs> okay. Now the four hole tip. Nope. A real bad start yeah, to that one. <laughs> oh, Phil. Yeah. Fix it. There, there we'll roll those bubbles underneath. But you see that? Getting a really nice roll on that one. Yeah. That's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's that. Uh, they both come with a single spout and double spout porta filters and back flush disc and your obligatory the plastic cheap plastic tampers. Which you want to replace. Yeah, you'll probably you'll want to get a nice yeah, one. You want a real one. Mm -hmm. So. Yep. All right. Okay. Well, it's uh, Todd and Mark, and we've got the Tetica 4, not the Profi. The Profi has a rotary pump, and the Profitech Pro 500. So, thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Whole